Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano ADA. Yeah, as I already said yesterday, currently the market doesn't give us any indication that here the low could already be in for ADA. Um, <laughs> someone said in the comments, there's a, this FUD, you know, I'm spreading FUD because I tell you that the low isn't in yet. Um, no, um, the market absolutely doesn't give us any, any reason to believe at the moment that the low is in for ADA. Um, it's a bit of a party crasher here, Ada, at the moment. We don't see the price action that we see on other cryptocurrency charts. It is much weaker, especially considering what happened here before, Yeah, where we had this strong ABC move to the upside. I told you all the way here that this looks far too corrective, not impulsive as, at all. Everybody was getting bullish. I was highly skeptical. And indeed, I was waiting for another low and we have made strong moves into that direction and it is looking like you know as per the Elliott wave method you're waiting for five waves down in my opinion we've done one two three here the four yeah currently working on the four and the fifth down and you can see that while on the lower time frames or the really the the minor the, the microwave counting might have been invalidated here and there the overall scenario still stands one two three four five this hasn't changed for over a month or so, I don't know, uh, a long time. So we are following this roadmap perfectly at the moment. Um, what you never know is how long this takes, okay? So in addition, and here you can see again, a good example how the Elliott waves and traditional more, well, yeah, more classical or traditional technical analysis patterns work together. You've got here the massive head and shoulders that is still developing, yeah, that I made you already aware of here a couple of weeks ago. Um, and in addition to that, you're waiting for that last wave down. And then if we break here that 43 and a half cent level, which looks like being the neckline of this head and shoulders pattern, that could really give it the catalyst for further downside moves. Now, again, waiting for that last wave down in a wave five. Um, in my opinion, we're still in the wave four here, A, B, C, D, E. And in this scenario, in this pattern, the only question that remains for me is if the wave E has already finished and we're already on the way down, or if the wave E will be a bit longer and we're gonna take a look at that in a minute. Now there is a bullish wave count for this as well. I'm not going to show it to you because the market doesn't give me any indication, doesn't give me any um, reason to consider the bullish count more closely. This is completely different on the Bitcoin and Ethereum and Solana charts um, and even mm, Matic maybe, but um, again, it, it is not my primary expectation, the bullish count, but where we can make a case for a bullish count because everybody's waiting for it. If where we can make a case, I make a case uh, and follow it through, knowing that at the moment it is still very early in a possible uptrend and that we will still most likely see another lower low. Uh, here for ADA, there's no reason to show it. I would only start to show it above the wave A high, above 54.8 cents or 54.7 cents, because if we do that, if we go in a strong move above that and we take the wave C high out, the wave A high, and we we'll, would we'll actually make a higher high and would we'll invalidate that triangle count here. Then we can consider here a truncated low option, which means in a low, we couldn't make a lower low compared to the one from the 12th of May, which will only be justified if we see the price action behind it. At the moment, we don't see the price action behind it. In fact, it's adhering perfectly currently to the triangle wave count. And for me, the only question is, is the triangle already finished or not, which means after the wave E high, you would expect a strong move down. Now, why I'm skeptical, and I said that already in yesterday's video, is the wave E is very short, especially if you take it in proportion to the wave D and the wave B. Um, by the way, that wave D length hit very, very accurately the, the target. Yeah, so that was all fine. Made you aware of that target it was 45 cents. Now we went a little bit below that. Um, but it's fine. We, we did not take the previous swing low out. So that was fine. Yeah, from a proportional point of view, the wave E is actually too short. It is still possible. Yeah, and we could go down from here, but we are not going down yet, which makes me a bit skeptical, especially as after the wave E high, what you would want to see is an impulsive wave to the downside. Now, this looks really like a three wave move at the moment. In an, um, So basically, from a lower level wave count point of view, in every triangle, you usually have a three wave move in every triangle wave. So the wave E would consist of three waves, A, B, C. Um, again, after this, you should see a five wave move down. Now we're not seeing that. In my opinion, what we see again is just another A, B, C. So th 
this would then be followed possibly by another a b c yeah um and this could finish the wave e off a little bit higher possibly as high sorry uh, the wave e off a little bit higher where's the wave e here um possibly around the wave b high at 49 and a half cents how would we put that all together well abc 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 a 333 pattern what would that be that is just wxy w x y okay so this is absolutely possible uh, let's assume we could even assume the wave x is finished here um, then we can calculate a target because the first target would be the length of the wave um, w target would then be 48 and a half cents yeah so keep that on in mind just from a length point of view if we go above that target i think we're looking at 49 and a half cents if we go above that 51.1 which is the 1.618 extension so we need to have it on the radar that wave e isn't finished yet um at least we need to have it on the radar until we take out 43 and a half cents if we take out 43 and a half cents to the downside then i think it's over yeah and we already then in an impulse down as long as we hold above it we can make a case that the wave E isn't finished yet and we can reasonably believe we go higher. And as soon as we go above that swing high here at 45.6 cents, I think then we can make a case, a more clear case, that wave E is still on the way. At the moment, we're here in a bit of a range. And until we break out of this range anyway, um, there is not much clarity, okay? So here to the downside would still not really make a difference actually. Um, what will make a difference is the 43 and a half cent level. If we go below that, then wave E is most likely over. If we break above this high at 45.6, sort of 45 and a half cents, then I think we can reasonably believe that the wave E isn't finished yet. So hope hopefully that was clear. Hopefully that gives you a good view of the ADA chart and the latest scenarios and developments and what you can expect if certain levels are taken out. Um, I think it will, even though it might be a quiet weekend, nevertheless an interesting weekend because here is it's definitely decision point um, for party crasher Cardano. And um, yeah, so hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. If you really like the content, check out the channel membership. Here you can get the access to the Telegram live chat, the Discord server, the weekly live stream. On Sunday, there will be another live stream um, where we are covering usdt and the risk around usdt this time every sunday there is a different topic to cover um and yeah so hopefully you like the update thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video thank you bye bye